try this time. You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. Ah, it's you two. Yes, it has been a while. <laughs> we heard the Yashiro Commission is holding a test of courage, so we came right over to sign ourselves up. We didn't expect to see you here in person, though. Does that mean this event is really important? You think I only make an appearance for occasions that are deemed sufficiently important? <laughs> it just so happens that this test of courage event was actually my suggestion. But, naturally, I've left the planning and more trifling details to be arranged by my retainers. Considering that such events are quite popular across Tevat, I've had numerous examples to draw from, so everything should be in good order. I'm merely here to do a routine check on the progress of the event, that's all. Oh, Paimon gets it! So what you're saying? Is you're not very busy right now. In that case, maybe you can give us a quick rundown of the event rules. <laughs> Only Paimon could be so natural at ordering others around. However, the possibility remains that we may yet require your assistance. Uh, sorry. What did you say? Ah, uh, nothing. <laughs> Seeing as I apparently have some time. I suppose we may chat about the event for a moment. Yippee! As its name implies, the event is a game designed to put one's courage to the test. The venue for the event will be set up in the Chinju Forest. Before the start of each round, participants will be divided into teams of two. Once teams have been formed, the event staff will announce the name of an item that has been placed in or around the Chinju Forest area. The first person to locate the specified item will be declared the winner of that round. The winner of that round? Huh. So there's gonna be multiple rounds to the Test of Courage? Precisely. There will be a total of three rounds in the Test of Courage because the event was actually orchestrated by three different parties. Merchants raised event funding, the Kamisato clan provided the grounds, and the Grand Narukami Shrine provided consulting services. As such, each of these three parties have selected one item for participants to find. So, naturally, the event will require three rounds to determine the winners. Ah, Paimon gets it! So basically, it boils down to searching for stuff in Chinju Forest. We'll need to find one item each round for a total of three items after three rounds. Huh. Simple enough for Paimon! Yes, seems you've got the gist of it. We will be issuing different rewards based on the number of rounds won. So, if a participant wins multiple rounds, then that will also be reflected in their final reward. 
If a participant manages to find all three items, then they shall receive the grand prize provided by the Grand Narukami Shrine. Ooh, a grand prize? Sounds like it could be really valuable. As for its true value, I'm afraid you'll have to win the event first and ask Lady Guji yourself. Of course, this event is intended to measure your courage. If you withdraw from the event because you become too frightened, then you might as well forget about seeing any rewards. I'm curious myself how many people will be brave enough to make it to the end. It'll be most disappointing if nobody claims the prizes we've prepared. Don't worry, those prizes are as good as ours! Even though just the thought of this event sends shivers down Paimon's little spine, the Traveler will be brave enough, no doubt about that. I appreciate your enthusiasm. <laughs> I look forward to seeing how you perform. Anyway, I think I've given you sufficient details. I'll add your names to the list of participants momentarily. As for the three items you'll be searching for, please wait for a staff member to inform you at the start of the event. Oh, and a friendly word of advice. Test of courage events tend to give rise to a variety of strange rumors and stories. So please, be sure to exercise caution. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. There's no such thing as pure freedom in this world. Even the wind cannot blow on forever. There's no need to exchange pleasantries. It's rather pathetic to force a conversation just to occupy silence. Ah. 
You think I've got a sharp tongue? I just tell it like it is. If someone can't handle it, maybe that's their problem. Hold it right there. Oh, well, if it isn't my compadres. Didn't expect to see you here. Huh? I would know that voice. It's Ito! What are you doing here? Oh, wait, don't tell Paimon you're here for the test of courage. <laughs> what else? I'm sorry, but uh, those prizes already belong to yours truly. Arataki ain't scared of nothing, Ito. I mean, well, that's what I really want to say. <laughs> but uh, I have actually got something else going on. Oh? What's that? Ah, it's a long story. As soon as I heard about the test of courage, I got the gang together and was ready to bring everyone for the time of their lives. But uh, it turns out the other members weren't as pumped about the event as me. Jinju Forest? We've already been there a million times. There's nothing scary about that place. That event's just a game for kids. What a waste of time. Let's play some genius invocation TCG. Seriously, test of courage? Ugh, whatever. I guess if that's what the boss wants. Can you believe that? What a group of deadbeats. I'm not gonna put up with that. Nuh-uh, not in my gang. Oh, Paimon gets it now. Dragging the gang to an event they don't want to go to won't be the best for your reputation as a leader. Hey, this isn't about me. As leader of the Arataki gang, it's my duty to find new and tantalizing experiences for everyone. A happy gang means a happy life. Even if they can't get it through their stubborn heads now, one way or another, I'll show them how much fun a test of courage can be. Anyway, I'm no stranger to change you forest. Sure, it was a little terrifying going through there, but hey, I'm used to it now. It's seriously, what kind of scary pranks could those guys in the Yashiro Commission ever come up with? If they can't scare anyone, then it's not gonna be a test of courage, now is it? Not to mention, if the gang starts complaining, I won't ever be able to show my face around here. And after all that talk, it still boils down to you. Ah, well, leading a gang can be complicated, you don't understand. Anywho, I've got a plan. Since there's no way I can trust the Yashiro Commission to make a fun event, I've decided to step in and spice things up a little. Wait, you don't seriously mean that? Oh, you bet I do. Yours truly is gonna be out scaring people. <laughs> I'm taking this event to a whole nother level. But it's gonna take more than an Oni to make it happen. So I came here to recruit some help. And then I saw you come walking along. Come on, come scare people with me, please. Pretty please? Forget it! Pretty, pretty please? Ah, oh, fine. But don't forget, we're here to win the test of courage and take home the grand prize. We'll help you out, just don't get in the way of our prize. Ah, <laughs> yes! You're a real Oni saver. Hey, don't worry, with me around, winning the test of courage will be a piece of cake. All right, those participants won't scare themselves. Let's get out there. <laughs> what a noisy guy. Hmm. But after hearing him laugh and talk, Paimon doesn't feel scared anymore. Huh. Maybe laughter is the key to making fear go away. If things get scary later, we can all start laughing at the top of our lungs. Hey, Traveler, Paimon, enough chit-chat. We're gonna miss the event. Ah, uh, coming! Too 
slow. Nothing, I just had a thought occur to me. I want to scare the gang members real good, but now that I think about it, I never actually scared anyone before. <sighs> You're only now realizing this? Practice? Oh, now there's an idea. Hey, uh, I've got it. Why don't you join the test of courage like everyone else, and I'll go hide and try to scare you from time to time. Then you two can judge my scaring skills. <laughs> All right, that's the plan. Let me go get ready. Just wait. You'll see how scary this Oni can be. <laughs> and there he goes, running off and still talking to himself. Well, we were here to join the event anyway. Guess we'll just have to pass Ito's little test along with whatever else the event throws at us. Oh, seems one of the event staff is over there. Let's go talk to her. Aha! Uh -huh. You must be here to participate in the test of courage. Yep. That's right! Uh, judging from your outfit, you must be one of the Shrine Maidens from the Grand Narukami Shrine! That's right. Huh. I can already see a dark aura surrounding the two of you. Yes, truly ominous. If you carelessly go running into the event, all it'll take is one little misstep, and the darkness will swallow you up! <laughs> oh. What's with the sinister laugh? Is she really a shrine maiden? Sure you don't want to back out? This is your last chance. I'll count it down. Three, two, one. Welcome to the test of courage. Enter at your own risk. Sure, you could say that. You know, the most unfortunate tales always happen unexpectedly on just a normal, average day. Just like today. But no need to worry. Allay your qualms and suspicions. Everything was already set into motion the moment you two stepped into this place. Just enjoy the calm before the storm. The first round is about to begin. Have you already decided on your partner? Ah, you finally said something that Paimon can understand! Yep, the two of us will be partners. We always make the best team. Hmm? But it appears your names were written together as a single participant. The Traveler and Paimon. Which means you'll have to find yourselves another partner in order to join the event. As far as I know, there have been other participants who've yet to designate a partner. You could go ask around. Just be sure to make it quick. If you don't have a partner by the time the event starts, then you'll be immediately disqualified. Uh-oh. We can't let that happen. Let's go see if we can find anyone to partner up with nearby. There was a familiar scent upon the wind. I knew that I'd see you around here. Kazuma! We meet again. Paimon didn't expect to see you at the test of courage. And why's that? Do I seem unsuited for this sort of event? Oh, no, not at all. It's just that Paimon's never 
person you get scared, Kazuha. You're always so calm and collected. It's like you've never been scared by anything. You flatter me. I suppose that's only a reflection of my time wandering in the wilderness. I've heard many strange stories in my travels. I can say I've even experienced a few myself. Over time, I must have gotten used to it. Ah, that makes sense. But, uh, why do you want to join the Test of Courage? After hearing the Yashiro Commission promote the rewards for this event, I was guessing that you two would show up. Since we hadn't seen each other for some time, I figured I might as well come and see you. After all, meeting someone after being apart for so long always lifts the spirits. Oh, so you were waiting for us? That's right. So tell me, how has your journey been lately? Things have gone pretty well. Uh, by the way, the Shrine Maiden told us that everyone needs a partner to participate in the Test of Courage event. Have you found a partner yet, Kazuma? No, not yet. Do you need me to be your partner? Very well then. I wouldn't mind a walk together. I haven't participated in many of these events, so I'm curious what new experiences lie ahead. It looks like you found yourself a partner. The event is just about to start. I will now reveal the item you'll be looking for in the first round. It's called... Dongo Milk. Ooh. Dongo Milk? Correct. Tomoki was kind enough to provide us with his Dongo Milk. And it has been hidden somewhere in the Chinju Forest. The path will be marked with signs to guide you. But some strange and unusual things may occur along the way. If you ever feel you can't handle it, you may withdraw from the event at any time. Now, if you're ready, then you may begin. We don't want anyone to beat us to it. Let's go! I haven't sensed anything particularly different. How about I tell you a story? Once in my wandering travels, I came upon a bridge, and I had been told that an ominous presence awaited those who crossed that bridge at night. It was said that there were a pair of lovebirds who tragically fell into the water below and perished. Their grieving spirits converged around the bridge, and were never dispersed. So, I picked a night to cross the bridge, and as I was crossing, I heard some voices. And... and then? I stopped and listened for some time, and realized it was a couple disguised as ghosts who blackmailed passers-by for their belongings. They were arguing over how to split their ill-gotten loot. After hearing that, Paimon doesn't feel so... You have no idea how long I've been waiting for this. <laughs> Let's go, Uchi. Huh? Who's there? Weird. That short guy doesn't look very scared. Come on, Uchi. Show him what you got. That's what I'm talking about. You scared now? <laughs> ah, so that's what's going on here. In this case, it might just be better to pretend to be scared. Seems we'll be the first to find it. Why do you say that? I can sense a sweet aroma on the wind. The dongo milk should be nearby. Really? Let Paimon have a look. Oh, you're right! There it is! Yippee! Who would have guessed we'd be the first ones? Hmm? But what's that scarecrow doing here? 
careful. It seems the test wasn't as scary as I'd anticipated. However, I've enjoyed the experience together with you. Now that we've found the Dongo milk, we can head back the way we came. What's the matter? Is there something over there? Ah, I see. So she is at the test of courage, too. To avoid any unnecessary complications, I'd prefer not to meet with her. You may pass on my regards. There's a lot of dongo milk here. I'll take half of it back and leave the rest to you. Till we meet again. Hello. Nico told me about the Test of Courage event taking place here. I thought I would come and have a look. Ah, so that's why you're here. So what do you think of the Test of Courage? Are you having fun? It's more or less the same as I remember before. I wasn't scared by anything, but on the contrary, some of the event participants were horrified the moment they saw me. Oh, that Miko! Did she send A here to scare people on purpose? If that 
that's the case, it feels like A isn't really experiencing the event like everyone else. Oh, Paimon has an idea. We'll give you a bottle of the doggo milk we just found. That would make you a winner in this round, too. Ah, oh, yes. Isn't that the dessert drink we had the last time we met? Sure, I'll take one. Actually, I've sensed a familiar feeling ever since I arrived here. It's brought some old memories to mind. Huh? A familiar feeling? Have you been down to the beach by any chance? I was just strolling nearby when I noticed a space at the beach with a familiar game set up on it. I took a brief look and it appeared to be a game where you control flippers hovering in the air to strike a ball and hit some positioned elemental cubes. I saw the game was called Akitsu Yugen. I'm guessing it originated from Akitsu Hasura. The thought of that game caused me to recall some things from the past. Akitsu Hasura? What's that? It's a game where you use Hagoita to hit a ball towards a set target. It was once quite popular during festivals. Makoto also enjoyed playing Akitsu Hazuro when she was alive. Yakiyako was still around at that time, and knights in Inazuma were much more lively than they are now. The yokai would hold festivals from time to time, gathering to drink, laugh, and play music. Oh, does that mean you could eat the delicious festival food whenever you liked? Yes. The yokai called their celebration the Mikawa Flower Festival. Makoto and I attended it once. She found it particularly fascinating. Well, sadly, the past has all but vanished. But seeing a game like that again does make me feel happy. Sounds like it could be fun! Paimon would like to play! If you're interested, you can go to the beach and give it a try. It was still being set up when I was there earlier, but I assume it should be ready soon. Yay! I shall return to Tenshukaku. Miko told me that the test of courage consists of three rounds, so please, keep up the effort and give it your best until the end. Considering you two, I think you should have no problem making it to the end. Oh, of course! <laughs> I know you can do it. Good luck. Paimon doesn't remember hearing anything about a game on the beach from Ayato. You think that activity is also planned by the Ashiro Commission? Oh, the more Paimon thinks about it, the scarier it feels. Oh, this whole test of courage thing is keeping Paimon on edge. Oh, anyway... The first round of the event should be finished by now, so let's head back. Squall of Fury! Huh. Woo! So, what'd you think? Do I know how to scare people or what? time I made my move, I scared the living daylights out of everyone. Even I had no idea I possessed such talent. But this is just what I needed to hear. Now I'll show them. The gang will know just how terrifying their leader can be. Anyway, I've already figured out which path they'll be taking, so let's wait nearby and scare the pants off them. <laughs> now things are getting interesting. You ready? We've got people to scare. Close. 
Come on, come on, come on. We can't let them see us. Oh, here they come. So, how are you going to scare them, Ito? Easy peasy. We'll wait for them to get real close, and then we'll jump out and shout together. They won't know what hit them. Huh? What are we, a bunch of kids now? Hey, don't underestimate me. It may sound simple, but I know exactly what I'll scare them. The gang's probably moping along on their way back, saying things like, This is boring, and let's go home. But it's dark, and their guard is down. Now's our chance. Having the three of us suddenly come flying out of the bushes is gonna scare them real good. Before they come to their senses, we'll already be halfway to our next ambush spot. Shh, you hear that? Someone's coming. It must be them. All right, I'll count us in. Ready? We jump on zero. Three. Two. One. Ah! Ooga, booga, booga! Uh huh. Wait, you're not. Wait, hold on a second. Uh, did you see that? They were definitely not human. So all the strange rumors about the test of courage are true. Oh, what should we do? Do you think the ghosts are coming after us? <laughs> oh, Paimon. I didn't expect you to be such a baby. Hey, you're one to talk. You were the first to start running. Don't make fun of Paimon. <clears throat> well, you, sh you shouted ghosts, so... My instinct to escort you two to safety kicked in. After all, real ghosts are terrifying. My skills are completely useless against them. Oh, because I just realized that they were also running from us. Which means they were afraid of us too. And if that's the case, then there shouldn't be anything to worry about. Ha, <sighs> now that I've calmed down, I'm starting to wonder if they were actually ghosts. They might have been people dressed up as ghosts to scare us. Oh, definitely not. No, during the event, I took a little walk around the Chinju Forest and saw all the gimmicks that the Yashiro Commission had set up. Those three weren't from the Yashiro Commission, but they did seem a little familiar. Come on, let's go back there and take a look. Huh? Now you want to go back? But, but... There's still a chance that they were real spirits, right? If we go back now, they might try to eat us. Oh, it's all right, Paimon. If you're scared, you can stay here. Traveler and I will go investigate. Really? Oh, that'd be great. Oh, right. The last mystery novel Paimon bought from Yai Publishing House had a plot just like that. During the investigation, whoever said I'm not going would always be the next victim. So, uh, I second that. Paimon's going with you. Don't you ever leave Paimon behind! Ever! Hmm, it looked like they were running that way, but it's hard to say exactly where they went, so let's split up. But then you'll be all alone, which according to the mystery novels is super dangerous! <laughs> Don't worry about me. Once my rear's in gear, I'm not afraid of nothing. has a bad feeling about this. They scared you that bad, huh? Huh, looks like they really do have a knack for spooking people. This time, I'll capture him and learn their art for scaring people. Anyway, I'll catch you around. And there he goes, running off and talking to himself. Again. Oh, do we really have to go? Let's go take a look, then. But the second we see anything scary, we make a run for it. Got it? Well, we've already walked all the way here. Hmm. Wonder where those three went? 
Paimon didn't see them anywhere. Oh, maybe Ito was right. Maybe they've been hiding. Huh. Seems like they're not scary after all. Hey! Listen up, you three little wimps! Paimon can already see you guys, so just come out and show yourselves! Someone actually here! Paimon's scared again! <sighs> so it's just gonna be every morning. It's just... Don't do it, Chizuru. You can't give in to your desires. Others will suffer for it. You mustn't make the same mistake. Just hold on a little longer. You've already come all this way, right? Uh, excuse us. Did you happen to see three rascals pass by here? Uh, let Paimon tell you what they look like. Are you... talking to me? To... someone like me? Ah! You have no business coming here. You shouldn't be anywhere near me. If you value your lives, you must leave immediately! Otherwise, your souls will be trapped here forever! I won't warn you again. Now, away with you! Be gone! Wake up! Hey, Traveler, wake up! Thank goodness you're okay. Before we get to that, I think someone needs your attention first. Uh, please don't eat Paimon! Paimon doesn't taste very good! Oh, please avenge Paimon! Are you here to rescue Paimon? Oh, and Hazel's here too! Uh, Did you manage to defeat her? A scary person? Okay, I see. I only found the two of you passed out here when I arrived. There was no one else around. What happened? Tell me all the details. As I suspected, there appears to be something more behind this test of courage event. But let's get back to your original question. I haven't told you the reason I'm here. The truth is, I was commissioned to come here for an investigation. You were commissioned? That's right. Some time ago, a peculiar game was discovered on the beach. A peculiar game on the beach? Oh, could it be the Yakitsu Yukin game that A mentioned? Huh. So you've heard of it. The game quietly appeared some time ago and has since attracted some players. Apparently, it's very interesting. There was no one on the beach other than visitors and tourists when the game appeared. Imagine it like this. A stall suddenly appears on the street with no owner. And stranger yet, it could operate normally without anyone supervising it. People at the beach can start the game simply by talking to the bulletin board. Could it be run by ghosts? Some tourists started to say that, and the rumor began to spread, until it became a full-blown ghost story. The further that story spread, the more plausible it seemed, causing people to be unwilling to go anywhere near the beach. The Tenryo Commission wanted to close the beach in order to investigate the situation and dispel the rumors, but before they could do anything, the Yashiro Commission organized the Test of Courage event here. People that were initially scared by the rumors began to believe that the beach game was actually a preview event planned by the Yashiro Commission for the Test of Courage, so visitors have gradually returned again. But I'm quite positive that the game never had anything to do with the Yashiro Commission. Wait, so the Yashiro Commission were fully aware of all the spooky stuff going on, but they still decided to hold their event here? But Ayato must be one of the smartest guys we know! What the heck was he thinking? 
Who knows? But I'd rather trust tangible evidence than speculate on his thoughts. As for my commission, apparently someone reported that they found themselves trapped for hours on the beach while playing the game. According to his own account, he kept returning to the same location no matter which way he went. And even though his friends were nearby, they couldn't see him. Even though it was obvious that he wasn't telling me the whole story, the testimonies of his friends did validate that what he said actually occurred. On top of that, it was also this very incident that led to all the ghost rumors. No one dared to go near the beach until the Yashiro Commission announced the test of courage. Who set up the game on the beach? And why did the Yashiro Commission help them cover it up? I need to uncover the truth, so I'm here to investigate. Anyway, don't mind me. Working together will only raise suspicion, so I'll undertake my own investigation for the time being. However, please proceed with caution. Based on my observations, most people are still unaware of anything happening here. Telling people that something's amiss might cause quite a stir.